What's going on, Uncommon Sense fam? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new to the channel, why don't you take a look around at the content that you see on my page. And once you figure out that this is the place that you want to be, I want you to do all three for me. So like, comment, and subscribe. I'm trying out something a little different today. I am flexing my podcasting skill, upgrading my systems and doing those types of things to make sure that you guys are getting the best possible version of me that you can get. So what we're going to do today, we've been tagged by my man, the original dog man, John Castro, in a challenge called Red, Red King. King. Oh, how we ready? A king without his crown. Hold on, hold on. I had to give it to you with a little bit of flavor, just bring you some with a little extra on top, little bram action. So, welcome back on Common Sense Fam. We've been tagged by the original dog man John Castro and the tag channel is called Red Kingdom. In Red Kingdom, what we're gonna feature are fragrances that are either red and juice color, red in packaging, red bottle, or that have the feeling and smell of red. You may ask. What does red smell like? Red usually smells like sweet, seduction, love, lust, all those good things. So, we'll just chronicle a few fragrances and we're going to share with you guys so that you guys can get into it as well. Big up to my man, original dog man, John Castro, for uh, coming up with this challenge and including us in it because that's what keeps the fragrance community going and together. So... Let's go ahead and jump into the way we're going to do it for today. Mm. First fragrance we're going to chronicle today or we're going to talk about today is Mmm by Juliet Has a Gun. Quite simple. If you don't know about the name, Mmm is a gourmand. Somewhat floral. It's got some caramel in there. For those of you who have not smelled it, if you've ever smelled Fed de la Suisse by Christian Dior, this to me smells similar to Fed de la Suisse by Christian Dior. This one actually smells like French toast and fancy Parisian breakfast. Irish cream coffee, maple syrup, brioche French toast, decadence. Kind of like something with cream and sweetness and his name implies exactly what it's gonna give and feel like it feels like a hug laurels caramel definitely i can't get enough of this one i've not bought a full bottle of it but i am going to so we first got to work through that sample i also have a sample of feb de la Seuss, so it's probably gonna be a little while before i work through both this sample and the feb de la Seuss, but i think i'm gonna Air on the side of getting the Juliet has a gun because Juliet has a gun is a house that I actually tend to enjoy. We're gonna move on to another fragrance in our collection. Lucky, lucky number, number six. six. By, By Lucky, lucky Brands. You know, like Lucky Jeans. Lucky Brands. Now, if you fragrances have this one in their collection already, I actually enjoy the bottle. The bottle to me looks like something of Oriental or Eastern medicine with a dropper. Like, I would expect that to be a dropper when you take some potion out. I feel like it's a utilitarian fragrance. It's one of those ones that's not going to be groundbreaking or super duper earth shattering. Let it dry down a little bit. That initial blast is really alcoholic. But I actually had this one on one of the more affordable fragrances for summer. Let's go ahead and put that on skin. Detectable notes I get on this. It's some citrus, some fruits. Decadent. Something decadent. Not 
sure, sure what that is. is. But if you, you guys, guys have not tried Lucky Number Six, six by Lucky, Lucky Brands, I suggest you go ahead and give it a try because it can only bolster your repertoire. Next up, I'm going to chronicle a staple in my collection and one of the fragrances that got me started in my fragrance, Fanaticism. Yo, um, yo, um, sandalwood. It is a sugar rush, but I love it. It smells amazing on my skin. That atomizes the bomb. Oh, I love this fragrance. I don't overspray with this one too, too much. But again, this is one of the ones that got me started in the fragrance collection game. It was one of my first fragrances as a Christmas gift. My mom started. Man, my mother started a habit. So mom, this is for you. Congrats to making me a frag addict. <laughs> I know you guys are probably thinking, that's not red, that's me. It's technically magenta, but it smells red. It smells like closeness. It's alluring. Sexy. Not only about the uncommon sense, we are about the sexy. We are about the fragrances that are going to make us feel something. If not smell great, they're going to definitely make us feel something. Next up, we got... Ferrari, Scooter Red Ferrari Forte. Now, this fragrance was a pleasant surprise to me. It's an Eau de Parfum too. Y'all, if you've not smelled this fragrance, you're doing yourself a grave disservice. I usually don't give the celebrity fragrances or the car fragrances any play at all. However, one of the brothers of the Frag Con recommended this one to me, and I'm so glad I did. This one actually smells like a cherry Danish to me, or like a, it's jammy. It's, it's like a pastry. It's, it's a gourmand, gourmand, but there's a fruitiness in it that I actually really enjoy. And this one lasts a great amount of time on my skin. I really enjoy this fragrance. Ferrari. Forte. I think it has a plum note. I really wouldn't have thought that it would gave me all it gave me. But I was pleasantly surprised. I love to be pleasantly surprised. It was a blind out for me. But like I said, one of the fellows in the Friday Com suggested it to me. I'm glad I heeded his suggestion because I would have missed out on this blend of beautiful bliss. It comes in a black bottle with red details. And I know you gotta say, that's not red. It's a black bottle, but it has red details. But the scent profile, like the first one, it actually comes in a red bottle, but it also smells red. This one actually smells red as well. And I'm extremely happy that I had a chance to experience the fragrance. And initially, I was concerned when the original dog man, John Castro, said, hey, I'm issuing a Red Kingdom challenge. I'm tagging you. Because y'all know me. I'm, I'm the King of Blues. Blues. Blues is my, my favorite, favorite color. color. I love blue fragrances. Hell, yeah, my, my microphone's too. Damn, bag is partially blue. I was, I was a little concerned because, because I didn't think that this was going to be as robust because I don't have a lot of red to my collection. But as I'm thinking about it more and more now, when I relate them in terms of their scent profile, their notes, their packaging, the bottle, juice color, when I think about it at all, all of it does have some relevance. So here we are with the Red King. And we're going to keep on rolling. Next up, it's a newer addition to my collection. And it was a suggestion because I was looking for a fragrance that closely resembled Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. Now, I actually do have some of the body oil, but this is a little thick. And sometimes it can be a little hard to spray. I don't always want to wear a roll on. But sometimes I do wear roll ons because I've noticed that the body oil's performance is stellar. The only downside sometimes is that the fragrance itself 
maybe a little bit of it, and then it may not smell as close as the original. That's the only downside that I don't know. For some, not all. Stephen over at Red Lesson suggested this one, and I'm so excited that I actually gave it a try. It's the Alain's La Petite Robe Noir Black Perfecto. Man, and I know what you guys are saying. I'm going to tell y'all one thing. It smells great. Atomize on that bomb.com. How does it smell rich, sir? I'm going to take you guys back on the journey. All my 80s babies. Babies and 90s babies. Babies and 70s babies. babies. All my babies that watch this channel. If you guys have ever smelled Ferrera pans, cherry clans, that's what this smells like. This, this smells, smells like cherry clean on the skin. skin. The, the notes are going to feature a sour, sour cherry. But in and this, is really sweet and that kind of like a maraschino cherry. Like, like think, think of amaretto sour, three amaretto so cherries in it. Or even the cherry cordials. Mm. That's, That's what this very smells, smells like to me. I love, I love this one. This, to me, is a gem. This fragrance is marketed toward women, but here at Uncommon Sense, we get the fragrances that are uncommon and bring them into the fold and introduce them to you guys and keep putting you on so that you guys have some fresh and new. No pun intended. Next up, Zero Plus Masculine by Diesel. Now, the packaging on this is really interesting. It's kind of like, like a snow globe, but to me, it kind of feels like some type of exhibit at a museum. Correct top, top in this one. Because the, the moment, moment you get, get that cinnamon glass, mm. I, I dig it though. It's kind of got this sateen finish. Good at it. You get a lot of juice coming out of there at once. This, this one sits a lot closer to the skin. But what, what I found with this one, spray it seven or so times on the chest area. It has amazing longevity. I've worn this to bed and woke up and I can still smell it. It seems to come alive a little bit further in the dry down. A little bit of roll, a little bit of cinnamon. It's a creaminess in there that I did. And again, this one isn't too expensive right now. A lot of people, again, are not rocking with this one. Bad for us, right? We had uncommon sense. And especially for Red King, though. This one kind of matches my vest a little bit. You know, we don't have a scent of the day on, so. Put it on. When you spray this fragrance song, this suede, soft feel, the fragrance feels like that. Kind of wraps you in this cinnamon, spicy hug. I actually love this one. Shout out to my man, Fred Head Said, reviews from the six. I sent him this as a giveaway uh, that he won on my channel when we first hit 500 subscribers. And he actually likes it as well. So, my man, shout out to you. If you guys have not checked out Fraghead Said, reviews from the six, I'm going to link him below. And I'm going to leave a little card in the top. Shout out to my man, reviews from the six. He's an amazing review, has lots of personality. That's my guy. And he always shows everybody love. So, we definitely got to return favor. Not only that, he's a wholesome individual, man. He's comedy at the height of everything. He's a comedic brother. Check him out. Let, Let him know, know that the folks, folks over at Uncommon Sense sent you. Next up. This, this one I, I featured a while ago on a First impression. impression. Alcantara Banala for Ooh. This one's special to me because I'm a sucker for a long ass presentation. And that. That right there. That, that on these people is how you present the fragrance. See that? But, but not for poor mood. <sighs> and I know what you guys are saying. It's not red. Check, Check your eyes. eyes. It's red, red details. details.
it's, it's red, red enough. Got red, red everywhere. everywhere. You know. No. Now, for the folks wondering what it smells like, like. let me tell you, it, it really smells like. like that's, that's a, a good, good add-on for this one too. too. Yeah. On first sniff, this, this one kind of reminds me of Mac Champa. It's, it's very incense and sandalwood like. I'm going to relegate it honestly to if you mix Mac Champa, sandalwood, and frankincense and myrrh, it's basically what you got here. That oud characteristic is present. I'm not, I'm not sure, sure if it's a synthetic wood or not. I'm actually excited to wear this one in the fall. I'm not rushing the seasons, but I believe when it's getting a little cooler outside, maybe October, November time frame, a little more temperate, rainy, this one is going to be amazing. I'm very excited to wear the Manapha for Food by Alcantara. I ordered this, I want to say, on eBay. And it wasn't that expensive. I think it was like 45 bucks. And come, and come to, to find, find out, a store up north, north actually, actually had it. Had I don't know how I just would have went by that part, but all good. good. No, no harm, no foul. No We're closing in on our last fragrance. Last, but definitely not least. This, this one is definitely a new one to my arsenal. And it's, it's an, an uncommon scent. I've not seen many folks talk about it, so that made me want to get on here even more and share with you guys. Put you on and let you know what is out there. The fragrance is... Look at that presentation. Velvet Amber Oud by Rihanna. Now, you guys are probably thinking, thinking Rihanna, Rihanna the, the singer? singer? No. It's not Rihanna, Rihanna the singer. singer. I'm, I'm in love, love with this box, box first and foremost. There's a little bow on top. top. This, this is this is what, what we want to see. see. This fragrance comes from the UAE. And man. It's gonna open it up so you guys can see. The presentation on this bad boy alone is on point. Spend some time marveling at this presentation, right? I'm pull it like Ron Papillo, but wait, there's more. This is an order parfum. Heavy, beautiful bottle, but wait. There's more. Magnetic, Magnetic cap. cap. It's got, got that prismatic effect, effect red, red details. details. Nice atoms. Close that down. Mm. Off top. You're going to get a lot of oud off top of this one. And I'm, I'm certain, certain it's probably synthetic, synthetic oud. I, I, at this, this point, am not bothered, bothered by that. If, if you, you guys, guys want to know what this smells like, like if, if any of you guys remember going to the barbershop, shop, old school barbershop with the chairs with the straps attached, where you got old school barbers still get shaved. This, this kind of smells, smells like my club, club man. But, but it has a very classy, distinctive, woody, fresh scent to it. To it. It, it kind of reminds me of a barbershop barber couture, couture, just a little, little bit. bit. I'm barbershop barber barber couture. couture. But, but that oud background kind of comes, comes off the powdery. I'm wondering if that's, that's the amber. amber. But, oh my God. This, this is an uncommon scent. I don't, I don't hear a lot of folks talking about, about this. I honestly feel like for the price I paid for this, this was a masterpiece. I think I paid $60 for this on fragrance bags. Oh, oh my god, god. This, this is probably, probably one of my better fly buys. I, I love this song. And, and I, I think, think you guys will too. If you guys have not seen or heard much, much about Velvet Amber Mood, check, check out Velvet Amber Mood by Rihanna. Like Beyonce, Beyonce said, put your frequent dress on. This is a frequent come on. This fragrance right here feels and smells so goddamn sexy that when I'm feeling my best, this only helps to put me over the edge and help me get my mind right and bring it my sexy that's gonna do it for red kingdom ladies and gents
And I just really appreciate you guys for rocking with me the way that you have. Original dog, man, John Castro. I appreciate you for putting me in this tag challenge, man, because it keeps flexing my skills and it makes, makes me step, step up to the plate when you guys a little bit more of me each and every, every time, time I get, get on this microphone, microphone and, and video, video camera. camera. I'm going to leave you guys with a few parting words of wisdom and let you guys know that as a creative, keep doing your thing. We are all placed here to create, whether you create opportunities, awareness, comedy, keep creating because that's the very thing that's going to keep us young in spirit. I'm a big kid and that's partially because we got to keep that inner light bright. So keep sharing your gifts, your time, your talent, and your effort and keep on doing and being you. Again, it's been your man Uncommon Sense and I love you guys from the bottom of my heart, the top, the sides, and all the way around. That's, that's going to do it this time. time. And thanks, thanks for stopping, stopping by and checking, checking out, out my video, video The, the Red, Red Kingdom. Kingdom. And I'm out. out. Till next time. time. Tat. This is Being. Somebody told me I look like a singer, like an artist with this hat. I'm gonna use it. Because as a creative, we are artists in our own right. Cut. She was a little. In terms of sync profile smell. <laughs> I may, may cut, cut that out. May, may leave it. Who knows? Who knows? Um, yes. yes. So again, again we are with the, the Red, Red Kingdom. Gerlans Black Perfecto. It's Gerlans La Petite Rose Noir. It's Gerlans Black Perfecto. Need some time to focus, huh? See. Ya. Love. Damn fingerprints, oh, yeah, I hate that. Easy. Next up. Next up. Also kind of looks, looks, looks and feels like, like a, something, something you drop, drop into a. Uh, so if you, you drop, drop into a can instead of fire off like you're fighting a war. The moment you crap, it kind of wraps, wraps you. The interesting fragrance is again, not Rihanna's a singer, not Miss Ponda Replay, not Miss Robin Fenty herself, but Rihanna. I'm in love with this bottle of being in the Red Kingdom. This is probably one of my safe. This is probably one of my best blind eyes for 2019. Aside from my Zershoff. Let's keep that very clear. So with that, with that being said, said, I just want to leave you guys, guys with some with some, some parting words of affirmation, affirmation and wisdom. So, the parting words of affirmation and wisdom are going to be something that I'm taking in for myself and applying. And that is simply to change your attitude. Charles, yeah, he's trying.